My fingers trace the white pit stops of the herring bones, the refrain of spokes which cross like fingers to fill it daylight. Open the handshake. Do this in memory of the touch, of skin on skin, the wrist angled. Do you remember? My name is David Kinloch and I was asked if I would write a poem with the title Wheel Binding with Secondary Herringbone, 1752, which is how a particularly beautiful Bible um, is described uh, in the catalogue of the National Library of Scotland. It was just such a compelling object. Um, it, it is a visual poem in its own right and I hugely admire the artistry that went into making it. So there was, a, there was a kind of challenge there, I suppose. I wanted to see whether words, whether language could do justice to the artistry. I was interested in, in the binding itself, in the, the material used, uh, and obviously in the geometrical patterns, the herringbone pattern. Initially I wasn't sure whether I could write anything about it, but then I began to think about the word binding itself um, and how that related to the Bible. When you're engaged in something like that, you, you don't, you're not really aware of your surroundings particularly. You're lost in the moment with the spark of, a, of an idea or perhaps a particular word that grabs your attention. So I would say that it's 90% uh, haphazard observation, experience, living, um, sleeping, dreaming, and 10% trying to put it together in a, in a form that will interest other people. It begins in memory and it ends in memory in a way, really. So it speaks about craft, it speaks about Scottish craft, and it speaks about uh, the nature of Scottish community uh, and how those, those things bind together. And then that image of the handshake, I suppose, becomes the central, um, the central metaphor in the poem. I hope that it will remind people uh, about the importance of human contact and how we lost that, hopefully only temporarily, during the pandemic. It's to remind people about the, uh, the importance of community and the ties that bind people to each other.